Hello everybody, this is Divya here and today we are going to discuss on fruits. Fruits is the major topic and we can talk a lot over the fruits. But today we are going to discuss on a shorter level that why should a fruit should be included? What does it do to our body? And is there any kind of restrictions in taking fruits into our diet? So today we are going to discuss on that. And uh, as I said, fruits is a wider topic, cannot be specifically said to every single fruit. But fruits as such, it is the colourful part of our diet. It adds colour to our diet, it adds variety to our diet and the sweetness, the tanginess and the juicy part of the diet is through fruits. So, the, what does the fruits it does? The fiber part of the fruit, there are certain antioxidants which is not available in other sources. There are certain vitamin B12s and vitamin sources and uh, you know a uh, good amount of uh, water soluble vitamins which are not present in other sources. And loads of antioxidants, because of the color pigments there are loads of antioxidants which indicates. So these antioxidants are also not present in other sources. So what does the fruits actually does? It stabilizes our blood sugar basically. So when you are feeling sluggish or when you are feeling of tiredness or something fatigue something like that a bite of juice a bite of uh, you know a sip of juices or a squash or a mousse along with a shake these all will definitely change your mood because it gives you a good amount of good energy levels to your body the fructose present in the fruits gives a good amount of energy levels to the brain cells and it activates the cell function so uh, it gives you a good feeling the energy levels automatically improves so whenever in the mid-morning snack or in the evening snack try to incorporate fruit a good amount of fruit inclusion into the diet. There is a uh, saying always said that uh, fruit should be taken only in the empty stomach but the reason behind is why it should be taken because it doesn't have acidic pH to our system so it alkalizes our system somehow it cleanses our system we can say. So any food which is taken post that we can definitely take the fruit before that. As per studies the berries and strawberries and kiwi fruit which are good amount of vitamin C and antioxidant loaded the studies have shown that the cognitive functions of the kids always improves and even for adults their uh, concentration power improves if they try to include these kind of fruits into the diet. It is very much important uh, because the fruit should be taken as it is in the natural form. It shouldn't be made into a juice and extracted into the you know in that form because the fiber of the fruit is completely lost when you try to uh, you know cut it more into smaller pieces or try to uh, squeeze the juice out of it. So it's better to take it as a whole fruit along with the skin so you get all the nutrients and insoluble fiber in it. As per the studies it is also said that when the females are taking insoluble fiber more into the diet through fruit the onset of gallstones which is occurs in female is very much reduced so the cancer occurring cells and the gallstones occurring things can be avoided completely if there is a good amount of fruit inclusion into the diet and there is one more concern which we have to definitely talk about is like uh, the diabetics are very much concerned about fruit they they are scared to take fruit inclusion because of considering the fact of the sugar content of the fruit but they can definitely enjoy the fruit inclusion considering the glycemic index is low in certain fruits for for example, they can take uh, strawberries, they can take more of kiwi and they can take uh, apple, pear, uh, goa which are good amount of glycemic index is low and they can take along with the skin. So the fiber inclusion is very much there. So the spikes in blood sugar level will not be there when they are taking these kind of fruits. But they should avoid certain fruits also which are very much sweetened in flavor because there are fruits which are good in fructose but there are fruits their amount of glucose is higher and the glycemic index are higher. For example, the jackfruit, mangoes and uh, you know these kind of fruits where the glycemic index are higher. So the chances of blood sugar levels spiking and if they are insulin sensitive so these kind of spikes can be occurred so you should uh, be aware of what kind of fruits to be taken and still enjoy the fruit inclusion into the diet.